As Jamie said, my name is Erica Johnsard, and I am with the Ronald McDonald House in the Red River Valley here in Fargo. Um, the Ronald McDonald House has um, families who have children 21 or younger receiving medical care in the Fargo Moorhead area. We um, offer a home away from home for them to stay while their children are receiving medical care. This year, we were lucky enough to receive some gifts from First Link's Giving. <laughs> Every year, we have a Christmas store at the Ronald McDonald House. We have many donors that will bring in gifts for our families um, so that they can kind of shop while they're staying with us. Um, they don't have to pay for these gifts. They just come in and look around and pick out gifts for any of their family members that they would like to have a gift for at Christmas time. Um, a lot of the times, the families that are with us have other children that are either still at home or staying with them in the wrong McDonald house. And we want to make sure that the families that are staying with us only have to worry about their child in the hospital. They don't have to worry about any outside things, especially at Christmas time when a lot of people are worried about where they're going to get the money or resources to be able to have a Christmas and offer gifts for all of their family members. The gifts we received from First Link this year were very vital in our ability to offer gifts to our families. We're so grateful for everyone that donates items, and many times we receive a lot of baby and if infant gifts, which is fantastic and very important with the families that are staying with us. However, a lot of times these children have siblings or we have families that do have um, children that are a little bit older staying with us. The Christmas gifts that we got from First Link were ranging from 12 to 16 years old. This was truly a vital thing for us as we didn't have gifts for um, the teenage age range this year in our store. And we actually had one family that had um, they were so grateful. They had gone through our store, and we kind of noticed that they, they didn't take anything when they left, and we were like, please, you know, take as much as you would like. Make sure you get gifts for all of your family members. And she politely said, I have teenagers at home, and there's just, I just didn't find anything that, that I thought was appropriate for them. A few minutes later, I got a call from um, one of the staff members that first link asking if we would be interested in receiving some of the gifts from the giving tree and what age range we would be looking for if we would. So I was able to go to the Civic Center and pick up gifts for people that were 12 to 16. When I went and talked to the mother and I told her, why don't, why don't you come back and look again? We just received some more gifts. She walked through our store and just began to cry. She was so grateful that she was able to offer a Christmas for her family when she thought that Christmas just probably wasn't going to happen like usual that year. So I want to thank again everybody that donates to the Giving Tree and everybody at First Link who puts this together and thought of us to um, receive some of the gifts this year. So thank you.